around, so I'm quieting this down a bit too. I dropped that frog down because it was sort on top of that. So I'm making a loud noise and now it's quiet. I can hear it dead loud. I didn't know a bit of a peed off of that. And all I've surrounded it with rocks and dropped that frog down into the rocks. And that's when it falls six in, so I'll leave it. Don't say my waterfall. Put some rocks across. Some of them lumps of sandstone. Just matching after a bit. Oh yeah. Take the acoustics down. Just in painting this fence. First time it's ever been painted since this pond got extended. It's all right, I'll pull them ladders across. Stood across it there and uh, all painted now. There's a pond we know that done. A bit dirty because the part from off where I was put messing in the road, putting that out. Clear up in a bit. Not quiet at all. Over here, you can hardly hear it. Eh? Lord's better. A few strategically placed logs. And dogs. Back again. There's the guru filming. The wise old elf plant in his throats. Let's look at these peas. They're nice of them, Luke. Like. They're about, I don't know, about 18 inch tall, some of them there. So I just pushed them all in against that net so they don't touch this net. The pigeons can't fail. So what they do, they pull them through. But the stuff like that come into there, they get the beak in there and pull it, and then they just end up pulling them all out. And they can't really get at them. So I don't know why they do it. Well, because they're just shit houses, I think. Well, there you go. Had a good uh, rain again last night, so that's what we want rain at night. Sun in the day. That's what we're getting at the minute. Just put some slug pellets in because we've uh, lost a few matches here. And when I lifted it up, there was a slug on in the inside of the frame. So we've lost all that roll on the back. So Henry's just put some uh, slug pellets in. Planted them onions up just there. Because of what we had left from last year, it was all reeking up at the bottom. So, Let's see if they grow them. Pretty big already. The tawny one, I think he put it in there. Oh, yeah, there are two. One just sprouted. Yeah. These spuds are looking out of that. I'll just give these tomatoes a feed from the top. Let's give them a little bit. Little ones and I'll give this a good drink. And I'll give these a good feed. Because these are picking up now, so they'll be taking food uh, a lot more. I think that uh, cucumber's had it. That's caught COVID. That long bean's okay. And this onion's just taking off. It's bulbing up at the bottom there. So we're doing okay now. That great van's gone again since yesterday. So we'll give that another water today. Right, all the way along there. And most of these will be taken out. I'll show you that when I do. I'm gonna have to ask Joe which ones I take out. He'll show me. Because he's the, uh, he'll fix that window too. Fixed it yesterday, so that's working. Yeah, he's the expert on these uh, great lands. He got me to this point, so me to put it across, where to split it and that. So I'll find out which ones I nick out. 
because you don't leave them all in earth, it'll just be like a mass of green over the top. You just leave the ones in where you're getting your grapes on. And then you cut them down. But I'll show you all that when I do it. It's not time yet. These at the bottom come off because they're no good, and all you do is push them off. See that? Push it off. Now, I know they're no good at the bottom. The little furry ones because they just take energy out of your plant or anything lower than your cordon you take off so i think all them in the middle come off i'm sure they do but i'll ask him i'm gonna ask him in a minute in fact i'll take a picture and go and ask him when he's finished filming with tony because i think tony's doing an episode with him so i'll go and ask him about that and then uh, i'll come and do it hook it up Uh, so I'll just turn out the uh, lesson off the wires all down. And apparently all this along here in between. I don't need none of them on. In between there, like I thought. Anything up to there. We don't need nothing on, we just need it over the top. So all them get snipped off. And all we do with them is just snip them off like that. Because they're just taking energy that they don't need anything with a furry bun on like that. Just rub them off. There you go. So now we've got a clean runner in between. And then that's where the grapevines start. We'll probably take some of these off lower ones. But we'll do that at a later date. So I'm on the floor. Like a good garden. Anything like that, see? Little furry bud. Move it off before it starts. And do come back. You've got to do it now and again. While they're growing, look. All them. And then that one, I'd imagine. See down there there's one, fairly bud. Yeah. There's one right there, I can see. Two. Just rub them off gentle. That's it. These here. In fact, all that arm can come off. And, uh, I'll snip that off. And that's it. Then we'll just get the growth on these rods now. This would grow faster because I've took damage, really. So we'll do that, take that out. We'll do that now. Rob it. Just through the. A bit. That bit of a grape that one I've just chopped off. I'm just putting in some rooting compound and uh, stuck it in there, see if it'll root up. I'll see what that does. Try anything once. Pigeon trap, aren't it? Beetroot's looking good. out here. Yeah. 
You're a proper ratter, aren't you? Hey, don't eat them. Come on, you're looking for rats. So it comes out. Get it there. No. We're weeding in here soon. Look. These spuds are popping through now. So they was uh, on to about the same time as them in them buckets. Second of the second, probably a bit before them, about a week before them. So that's them first early's off in here. <coughs> Swift. I've just been putting the world to rights with Tony about this committee playing the uh, gods again, trying to put an over rule on us when it's uh, there's no over rule at all. Government guidelines, uh, no limit on the time as long as you do it reasonable. So should be sorted out anyway. These carrots are coming on, aren't they? Look at these. These were those little ones. Uh, they got in and uh, scratched them up. So it, and we put some more seeds in. And they pop through pretty quick. So let's fill the rows up again. Oh, looking good then, aren't they? And peas I planted the other day are popping through. And I planted them on the 8th of the 4th. They started poking through now, they're trying to jump out. They're through at the back. They were planted on the 6th of the 4th. So, I'll just give them a water. And the second crop's coming through now, we've got some long beetroot coming through. Right. There you go. Uh, Costalito tomatoes are coming through. Just wait up a cucumber, peppers, and some Roma's tomatoes. That giant tomato's not come through yet. None of Henry's roses. That great man's still looking at that. Keep an eye on that one. That's a yard long beam. We forgot about it, it was behind there. It's not been water for ages, so. I'll take that out of there. Put it in there. Put it in the water in there, will it? These are looking well after that feed yesterday. That, that leaf that's got the yellow one is not growing as big as that one. So I don't know what it is. The one's just got a yellow spot on there now. I don't know. Great line looks alright. Bit of uh, slug damage in there, so pepper brought with slug pellets again. No damage on these. Picking up all right, it's getting its second leaf on now though. That'll be ready for planting probably next week. They're doing bonnie now, collar. They're all doing okay. Ooh, we've lost a couple of sweet corn now. What's going on in them? Look 
cage grass there, I think it's called. That's not a sweet corn. Yeah, but a bit of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got nine left. We'll get some more and fill that up. I think they've got some in the shop up the road. Fresh this morning. Not doing bright, but a bit fresh. <coughs> it was windy last night. Uh, lost that little one off the end. Luckily, it only landed there, so I just popped it back in. I'm gonna fix it back in with some silicon. But I mustn't have done that one. See the great down there now. Good. We've good done a couple of weeks. Right, that's everything watered up. That's me off. Probably come back later and have a look if it needs watering up. Right, I'll see you in the morning. Adios.